Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share with you my TBR for this year's Nonfiction November. So Nonfiction November is a month-long reading event hosted by Olive from A Book Olive and Gemma, I believe, from Nonfic Books, in which they are encouraging us to just read more nonfiction than we normally would. In case you do want more help tailoring your TBR though, they have provided us with kind of four words or really broad topics uh, that you can interpret as you will. And this year those topics are home, substance, uh, love and scholarship. You guys know that I tend to be a little overly ambitious in my readathon TBRs, so this time around I thought I would try and be a little bit more realistic. So what I've done is picked out four books, one for each of the challenge words, uh, one audiobook, and then one just kind of extra book that will be hanging out there just in case. So let's go ahead and get into them. The first book on my TBR is Goodbye to All That by Robert Graves. Now this is his memoir of his childhood up through his time as a soldier in World War One, and I wanted to use this one for the home challenge specifically because of this line on the back cover. In 1929, Robert Graves went to live abroad permanently, vowing, quote, never to make England my home again. From what I understand, this focuses a lot on his time as a soldier during World War I and uh, how traumatic that was for him, so I think it'll provide a really interesting uh, spin on the idea of home, uh, specifically, you know, as a soldier you're willing to die for your home, but what is your home country willing to put you through uh, for the sake of what they believe in, if that makes sense? I don't know, I just, I feel like this will be really good and this is honestly the book I've been dying to pick up for the past like month or two, so I'm really excited to get to this one. For the substance challenge, I wanted to read An American Family by Kazir Khan, uh, who, if you have followed American politics at all over the past couple of years, uh, was the gold star father um, who made an appearance and called Trump out at the Democratic National Convention. I was really drawn to his speech at the convention, and I thought um, he was very, very articulate, uh, but I was even more drawn to him after watching several interviews with him, and he was recently on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah and he just seems like such an interesting man and like he has such a level-headed uh, way of talking about what he's gone through in his life so I'm really looking forward to getting to this. This is uh, I believe a memoir of his journey um, immigrating to the United States, raising his kids here, and ultimately losing his son um, during our current entanglement in the Middle East. For the love challenge, I thought I would go ahead and finish Are You My Mother? A Comic Drama by Alison Bechdel. Now, this is her second uh, graphic uh, memoir, I guess. Uh, her first fun home focused on her relationship with her father, and this one focuses on her relationship with her mother. I started this one way back in July during the book Tubathon, so I would really like to wrap it up this month. Uh, and I'm really hoping that I like it more than I did um, at the beginning. I, I don't think it's as strong a graphic memoir as uh, Fun Home was, and I hope that changes, you know, as I continue reading. For the scholarship challenge, I want to finish Five Came Back by Mark Harris, a story of Hollywood and the Second World War. This is another one I started a couple of months ago and have been kind of dipping in and out, um, though I have to say I really like it so far. It's very, very interesting, um, although I don't know a whole lot about this era in Hollywood, so I'm having to look up a lot of names and a lot of uh, movies and, and things like that, but it's very, very interesting and um, I definitely would like to finish it up in November. And then because I like to have an audiobook on the go that I can listen to at work, I picked up Code Talker by Chester Nez and Judith Saez Avila, I believe that's how you say her name. I'm never quite sure. I probably should have reread the description of this book before filming this video. That probably would have been a smart thing to do, but from what I remember when I first picked this book up, it is a memoir of Chester Nez, who was one of the uh, Native American soldiers who during World War II uh, helped with coding messages uh, for the US military. Not only is that something that I know practically nothing about, but because I'm on this kind of military history kick at the moment, it sounds like the perfect audiobook for this moment in time, and I'm really looking forward to getting to that one. And finally, if I have time for one more book in the month of November, uh, I would love to get to What Happened by Hillary Rodham Clinton. Now, my uncle sent this to me for my birthday back in September, so it's kind of just been sitting on my shelf staring at me for the past couple of months, and I would love to finally get to it. I would really like to know what happened in her own words 
and I think it will be interesting to read exactly one year uh, from the date of the election that went so horribly wrong. So those are the books that I'm hoping to get to this November, and if you guys have read any of them and would like to uh, preemptively share some thoughts with me, feel free to do so down in the comments below. But I would also like to know if you are participating this November, what's the one book on your TBR that you're really, really excited about? For me, I think it has to be goodbye to all that. I wanna give a huge shout out to my patrons like Amanda Howell for making videos like this possible and I want to thank you guys for watching so uh, happy reading good luck with nonfiction November and I will see you next time bye and can we just say that it's like ridiculous that it's November and I'm still wearing a tank top I mean I know I live in California but still this is a little ridiculous even for us